everybody. <laughs> Welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat. Uh, I'm Sarah coming to you live from Not Another Hat, my store, my yarn store in the Columbia River Gorge. And this is this is Ingrid, our uh, knit along fearless leader. And we're going to talk today about the knit along. Right now, we are laughing because. I sat down next to, <laughs> next to Ingrid, and this is how our, the difference in our torsos, we're both in the same chair, and I had to get a booster seat, so now I'm sitting on double thickness of chair, and, and, just right. and now we're, <laughs> oh my lord, this is why nothing fits me right, because my waist is, the shoulder is this long. So, hello, thank you, Heidi. Um... This is why I'm wearing the, the tiara. Ingrid brought this special for me. Happy this, birthday, Today Sarah. is my birthday. So, so if you're already envious or jealous that I get to be here in store, which you should be, then you need to up that a notch because it's also Sarah's birthday. And this means I get to be in her presence and celebrate her in person on her birthday. So I'm feeling very special. <sighs> Oof, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think you say that every time I come. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ingrid is here specifically because we have an upcoming fall knit along. It is the Mini Me Knits knit along, and we want you all to join us. So, we're going to talk about the four designs we have chosen to highlight. Now, uh, say the designer's name for me again Christina. I'm going to. Mini Me Knits designs. Christina something. I thought I had it written on here, but I don't. Christina Gerdoyle. <laughs> um, she has a plethora of designs. Her catalog is enormous. So if the four that we chose to highlight don't appeal to you for some reason, or maybe you have yarn that you already want to use for something, there you are not restricted. Just choose one of her patterns, and you are welcome to join us. Uh, but we did pick four to feature because then we can talk about some of the things specific to those four designs. And Ingrid has made... Three, of them. three out of the four of them. <laughs> She's wearing one right now, and there's two more on display here. And we did have the fourth one here as a shop sample, um, but we sold it. <laughs> so. That's how great they are. <laughs> <laughs> so buckle up because we have a lot to talk about. Ingrid and I each picked out our favorite yarn choices for the four designs. Um, so we will talk about the design first and its kind of its specifications, and then show you some of the yarn options. And so if you would like to participate, go to our blog post. Oops, I forgot I was going to open the video so I could put the link in the blog post. Go to our blog post. It's on our website. And at the very bottom is the sign-up form. And you're going to want to um, enter your email even if you're already a subscriber because that will get you on the list that gets the um, Zoom links for our get-togethers. It'll also get you the welcome email that has the 10% off coupon code. So I'm just going to post um, a, a quick comment if it lets me. <laughs> uh, here we go. Julia is off having an adventure today. And so I am running the comment section right now, which means nothing's happening except occasionally I will post the link to our blog post. I just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just shared it. So go ahead and sign up. Um, we would love to have you join us. The sessions will be recorded. We will send out replay links. So, but that's only if you're signed up. Only so if you're signed again, up. Yes. If you already get the newsletter, that's fantastic. But this, you would need to give your email specifically for this. Separately, so we, in addition um, to. So that you get the coupon and that you get the links to then our Zoom gatherings. Yes, and I have a... Sp <laughs> I have a... <laughs> Oh, tiara hair is hard. <laughs> so hard. I have a special <laughs> surprise that I'm going to announce in a little bit. So don't go rushing to buy anything just yet. Um, our first kickoff KAL get together is going to be Friday, October 6th at noon Pacific. So, um, and then, then we have three more dates. So there'll be four get togethers in total. All of that information is on the blog post that I just shared. So... Should we talk about the first one? Yes. Okay. First one on the list is Luminous Summer. And this is the one we don't actually have a sample of. <laughs> the one I haven't knit. Yes. yes. <laughs> and the one that we had here and sold. But this is a really great approachable design for a newbie, um, someone who wants to try their first sweater, or an early intermediate knitter. Um, do you want to describe it a little bit? It is knit top down. It has um, 
an eyelets right around uh, just after the neckline. And then it is designed to be cropped um, or somewhat cropped and um, I believe it's a little A-line. Yeah, a little flowy. And so uh, great if you wear high waist pants or skirts or if you wanna wear it over dresses or um, overalls or things like that. And of course, because it's top down, if you would rather have a, length, a regular length tee, you just need to account for that in your yarn and add length to it, but you'll be able to try it on as you go and get a sense of how the fit's going and if you're happy with um, what you have. So. And it's written for short sleeves. Again, just like Ingrid was saying with the length, you can make your sleeves longer if you like. But it is written um, for DK yarn at 17 stitches to the inch, which if you are on top of your weights and gauges, uh, um, comparisons, you know that that's a slightly loose gauge for a DK weight yarn, and that is part of the intent, is to achieve kind of a flowy, comfortable fabric. Yeah. Okay, what did you pick for options? All of the web, uh, I mean, the blog post has a whole list of suggested yarns. We're just going to show you some of our highlights. Try to narrow it down. Yeah. I know I can get easily overwhelmed when I see like, ooh, five good yarns all for this. Really? Uh, wait. <laughs> I know. I rarely get overwhelmed, but <laughs> if you actually saw my um, post, it's that I now am really dedicated to physical lists when I walk in because twice I came, had, a, had things I wanted, I leave without them, so I came with a list during the book launch of all of Knits, so I knew it was going to be even crazier, but darn it, it, I stuck to you it. It took me 90 minutes to complete, but <laughs> I went home with everything I wanted. <laughs> you did very good, yes. <laughs> So with, um, with all these designs, I know people's body temperature runs different, <laughs> mine's running hotter these days, and uh, or depending on the climate you live in, might make a difference in whether you're more plant-based or fiber blends or whether you're more you know wool, alpaca, warmer type things. So I tried to pick um, yarns on both sides of that, so that for each top, depending on what you're looking for. So for Luminous um, Summer, if you're looking for a plant-based or um, lightweight, warmer temperature, warmer water uh, body, I have clean cotton. And this is Zinnia, which oh, I did so try beautiful. to go outside of my uh, color comfort zone today and pick a little bit of everything. But if you know my wardrobe, um, it's shades of pink and shades of gray <laughs> and with a little bit of teal move, uh, in there. So this would be in my color house right here, but there are multiple beautiful colors. And even the yarn she used is a little bit um, heathered. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And so this would be right along. If So if you look at her design or if you look at other people's samples, you're going to see that it is kind of a yarn similar to this and that it's, a, it's heathered or tonal or in that uh, range. And while there is a little detail up top, there isn't so much detail that you'll lose it if you do choose a yarn that's um, tonal or, or speckled even. Mm -hmm. You can probably even do speckled. Mm -hmm. So. Clean cotton if you're looking for a lightweight or summery um, top. And Dream in Color Riley if you're looking for more of something you'd wear multiple seasons or you want a little warmer or maybe you're even going to try to make a long sleeve version and you want to warm it up a little bit. Um, this is 100% Superwash Merino. And I actually love many colors of Riley. This one is called Cinnamon Girl, I mm. think. And um, I particularly love this mm -hmm. in the orange to red to just looks like you're on fire it would look so, so good for fall yeah yeah okay those, those are, are my top. okay so um i went all in on the animal fibers which is funny because i'm sweating my ass off right now <laughs> but um so i years ago i picked out arno in this gray and white marl for something that i that never happened and so immediately i went to this again, because I think if I was gonna do Luminous Summer, I think it'd be really nice. This is a, it's actually a half cotton, half wool, so I didn't go straight animal fibers, but, <laughs> so this is a great kind of in-between option if you want just a little bit, but you need that extra cotton coolness. Yes. Um, and so this is a DK that would knit up just fine and be nice and flowy. And then um, we have an alpaca wool acrylic blend Vento. I just knit a sweater in this yarn and I heart it so much. <laughs> I haven't shown it to you yet because I'm saving it for the have a ball fall crawl. Hint, hint. Um, so I loved this yarn. I would absolutely 100% knit with it again. And this is another one that kind of looks lighter, but I know from experience that it knits up to a looser gauge and it would be perfect. Mm -hmm. And then, last but not least, 
This is the American You yes. Worsted Tweed. And this is Shanika Wool. Gosh, it's so gorgeous. It is. I just liked the color, and I, I thought it would be really pretty. And like Ingrid said, there's not a lot going on in the yoke, just the eyelets. And so I don't think that this tweed fleck would interfere with the pattern or anything yeah, like that. Okay, and that's a newer-ish yarn. Yes. So if is. you haven't been to the store in a while or you haven't been to the website in a while, that might not have been on your radar. So it it's is worth checking out for anything. Absolutely squishy. It's domestic Shanika wool. That's our backyard, if you don't know. So, um, <laughs> awesome. Okay. And Jocelyn just said she's currently knitting Luminous Summer for her mom and Gaia, which we're going to talk oh. about in a minute because it's right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's next? Instant gratification. Who doesn't love that? I know. All right. So, um, mine is it made in Phoenix, oh Lang Wool Phoenix. It is and so, so it is not something I would put on today in our 70 degrees right now, but I will put it on just because. She How can you not? She gonna play Mr. Rogers. <laughs> yes. It is like a cloud, seriously. Just like, it feels fairly oh. weightless and it's nice. This is meant to be a very oversized um, cardigan, and I did just that. I knit exactly um, the ease recommended, which I don't know. It's maybe it 14 inches yeah. of ease recommended. And I have to tell you, I already have yarn for a second one. <laughs> I'm a little <laughs> ambitious. <laughs> what color, Ingrid? Hot pink. Oh! So um, this is, but I love this cream because you need that neutral sweater to throw on for whatever. And I even like mixed up my... Oh, buttons. My so button cute. collection is quite antique because they're mostly from my mom. Uh -huh. So they all have stories, but I liked, I don't know. Mixing you can't even tell, can you? So you probably can't probably for could. them. I can tell yeah. from here. And uh, I have a longer waist. This is slightly cropped and it is also it's, designed to be slightly cropped. As so. evidenced by my booster seat. <laughs> yes. Well, when you need to, you need the visual effect. Mm -hmm. Now we, now we know. I really am a long torso when I tell you I'm a long torso. You know, as a kid, they would make me sit on like the phone book, but our kids wouldn't even have that now as a booster oh. option. They don't even probably know what a phone You'd book is. You'd have to knit them a cushion. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I love this. It truly is instant gratification. It knits up quick. Um, Twelve stitches to the inch. I mean, to four inches. Yeah. So three stitches to the inch. And it's all stockinette except you know ribbing at your cuff and your um, hem here and you know your basic increases so really truly it's approachable for many people if you've knit a, one sweater before or you're trying to get into your first cardigan this you know might be an option i like the um neck like this uh some people don't always want the bare you know, boat kind of neck boat yeah neck, uh -huh. but um i love it and i think it's gonna go perfect and then this way for me, it's still multiple season because I can wear this over a dress. That's actually how I wore it the first time, and it was spring. Um, but you could also then, like, if I had a turtleneck on or anything else, even in, in uh, colder weather, yes. this would work. And we don't carry Phoenix in the store uh, currently, but it is available for dropship. So it's on our website. So if you're in love with the cloud look here, this light, fluffy, ethereal you can also order Phoenix. Um, but we did pull some yarns from inside the store to show you, to tempt you. So um, I'll, I'll go first this time. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. So as we were saying, this is a bulky knit, um, goes really fast because of that. So if you're looking for a quick win, this is one of those. And I grabbed this option here. Whoops, cool down, there we go. This is Barocco Vintage Chunky and Malabrigo Mohair held together. So this would give you a light, bulky fabric. Um, the mohair is heirloom vegetables, and then the chunky is 6167. Um, yeah. <laughs> you get heirloom vegetables, and then you get a number. <laughs> you get a boring number. But I just think this would be so beautiful, held together so beautiful. throughout. Yes. And then another fun option, if you love color and you want stripes, because it's top down, mm -hmm. um, this would work really well, and that is Barocco Wizard. So Wizard is one of those that will do um, a color progression as it goes. And I grabbed this, <laughs> this pastel -y one, but it comes in a wide range of different colors. So they're not all uh, pastel like this if that doesn't uh, float your boat. <laughs> <laughs> and there is no detail to mess up. It is stockinette, like I said, with a little bit of ribbing. So if you prefer your yarn to give you the pizzazz, then this is an object that you could use um, variegated or other types of yarns with to spice it up or or uh, totally make it however 
you like it. What'd you pick? I picked, so also new, if you haven't been to the site or the store lately, Blue Sky North. I mean, uh, yeah. So, so squishy. Vento is the yarn that now that Sarah got me hooked, I want to make everything in it. And I have a feeling this is going to be the next one of like, I'm not afraid of um, chunky knits, right? Like I like my size three and four needles and I like my little fingering weight things too, but I am <laughs> not afraid to knit me up some chunky sweaters or mm -hmm. other things. And so I am loving this. This is a super bulky yarn and um, Loon Lake. Yeah, this color is Loon Lake, which is in my color scheme and I love. It's beautiful. Um, but there are many beautiful shades, especially if you want fall um, or something that will go with everything right a color that will go with all your other colors mm. there are many to choose from that cranberry compote yeah yes. that is gorgeous it is mm. i also like the rust. it's right over here <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry uh. all the yarn candy <laughs> right in front of our eyes so this would be a pick this would be warm you are got a 100 percent highland wool here um yes. so is that now I'm like, I, I think you messed up my own order. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so speaking of Vento, and I said, now I'm looking to like knit everything in it because I too am working on a sweater. But if you held two of these together, I think you would still get the cloud light effect with a little bit of loft or, you know, maybe a, a fair amount of loft to uh, give you that just, you want to cuddle up. It might as well be your blanket that you carry around mm. kind of sweater. Mm -hmm. And um, I did not pay attention to my color here, but it'll just be a number, right? Yeah. So this is number 5637. I almost, but, uh, there's, it's like a five letter word. It's the name of that color. Mm. Can't Beautiful. think of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, this is a yarn too where if we don't have enough in stock of what you would want, especially if you're going to hold it double, um, but you can't order it because it can be drop shipped. So that's an excellent thing. And then I think this is the one pattern I did grab three yarns for. Yes. Because. Yes. Oh my goodness. I love this and I'm going to have to play with more. So um, Mystico is a new one. Did I say that right? Mystico. 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 Um, Mystico. And this is cotton alpaca Mystico. wool and nylon. Mystico. So it's quite a blend and this alone could be used for definitely multiple seasons and multiple body temperatures. And this is um, alpaca acrylic wool. Um, so it's a little bit warmer blend, but I just love the loft these two would be together. And then this has the variegated kind of string in it that goes subtle. And then this just has loft and is a little bit tonal. It gives you some grays and blacks. So I'm thinking these two together. That would be so, so fun. I know, and now I'm like, hmm. <laughs> when you don't make a list, but you come in store, <laughs> you leave with a bigger list. But this again would give you, hold these together, you'd get a nice loft. I'm gonna hold this one really weight. close so they can see all the color in. Oh yeah. In the Mystico. It's yes. got that Tweety Fleck kind mm -hmm. of. Mm -mm. A little bit of gold, a little yep. bit of turquoise, a little bit of orange. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of delicious. A little right. bit of get in my bag. <laughs> right. <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, okay. Should we move on to Salmon? Yes. Okay, Ingrid's going to play. <gasps> Change your clothes. No, yes. I don't think Salmon's going to. No, on. it's not going to go. <laughs> so Salmon um, is a tunic. <laughs> and My booster seat's sliding off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to sit on my lap? Would that work? <laughs> and our heads would be about the same level. <laughs> Um, so this is the salmon tunic and it has these awesome pockets right here and it almost gives you the illusion that it's a kangaroo pocket, but it's not. They actually separate in the center. And when I did this, um, this is the first uh, mini me knits design that I knit and uh, this is in Barocco Dolce and um, so it's just, it's not too loose of a gauge so much so that you would like see through the material or anything but it is written for a bulky weight, I think 15 stitches to an inch. And so Dolce, mm -hmm. if you look at the label, Four would inches. be um, a little bit, you would think it would be light, but it knit up beautifully for it me. Does. It's perfect. And um, the pocket construction. Tell. I just put my hand in here oh, yeah. and you can't see you through can't it at all. It. No. And if you look at my pictures on, like if you went to my Ravelry page to check out any of my knits that these um, are, you would also see, I don't have any, I'm not wearing anything underneath it when I'm wearing it. And I wore it with leggings because it is a tunic length for me, 
I did have to add some length in order to cover my rear end and get past my torso. I'm always adding um, yardage and that was true for this one. But the pocket construction is different than any pockets I had made before. They are set in and you do work them um, as you knit the top. So there's no after work to do. I think no there's one seam business. on the inside. Mm, no fuzzy love business. That. And it was a bit of a brain twister, but even the pattern says go step by step, like read it all, then go back and just follow step by step, not trying to mm. figure it all out. Mm -hmm. And I did that and it was exactly um, Isn't it funny right. how that works. works when they tell you to do <laughs> they it? They tell you follow instructions one at a time. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> yeah. But, I love uh, it. It's so. so beautiful. This is Dolce again. It just, mm, it's amazing. Yeah. It feels so good. Dolce is such a buttery yarn for being a blend of fibers like that. Mm -hmm. Cotton That's and true. That's true. Uh, do you want to show what you picked? Sure. So um, again, 15 stitches to four inches. So what's three and three quarter stitches to the inch? Thank you for the math. <laughs> no, that's why she has the tear on. Oh wait, no, that's because it's your birthday. But she's got so many things. <laughs> um, so if the Dolce is a fiber blend and oh gosh, cotton wool, I'm not gonna remember everything else in it, nylon. I think it's cotton alpaca wool. I don't know. So, oh. and this is an option for you still. I just didn't bring it over since there's already a sample in it. Um, but if you still wanna go with a multi-season or a lighter fabric, Barocco Remix Chunky, I think would be perfect. Uh, and this is what I mean when I went outside my wheelhouse. Gold is a Sarah kind of color. Gold is not an Ingrid <laughs> color, uh, unless it's like a really dark, deep gold. But anyway, this is beautiful. I think this is even called Buttercup. I think this mm -hmm. color um, is, or number <laughs> 9922. <laughs> but um, Barocco Remix Chunky uh, doesn't have any wool in it, any of the Remix, right? If you've worked with Remix before, mm -hmm. you've got nylon, cotton, acrylic, silk, and linen. I've made multiple things in Remix, um, not usually the chunky, I think I've mostly worked with the worsted and the light, but it's so great and it's so soft. Yeah, like, um, so soft. It's yeah. so soft, yeah. Next to the body. All recycled fibers from the garment industry. Yes. Yes. So this would be uh, my warmer temperature or multiple season choice. And if I wanted more of like a winter tunic yumminess, I would go right here with... Um, We'll stock tweed. Yeah. And this is an Aaron Weight um, here. And this is called Plum Candy. No, mm. Plum Brandy. <laughs> I should have remembered that. I do love me a cup of brandy. Ooh, in the winter, holiday time. And this would be perfect. Yep. And yep. this design, again, doesn't have detail for you to mess up. So if you want a tweed or you choose a yarn, like even the Dolce has multiple um, colors and tones in it, you're not um, skewing any design that's there because you have ribbing here. And your pockets, but otherwise it's stock in that. Mm -hmm. So um, this tweed that would be, be so great. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yes, plum brandy. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I have chosen a couple. I love how <laughs> how animaly this smells. <laughs> so this is ultra alpaca chunky from Barocco, and this is um all, we have all natural colors here, and so I've gra grabbed the dark gray. But it's a half and half, so it's a wool alpaca blend. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the Ultra Alpaca line, and this would just be perfect in that gauge of 15 stitches. And four also inches. great next to the skin. Like yeah, that's just so, soft. so soft. Next to yes. your skin is not a problem. And then in the mixed fiber category, I also grabbed Mystico for this project, just because it is very close to Dolce, what Ingrid used. Um, so I know it will knit up just fine to this um, for this project at that gauge. And I just clearly have like a pink thing going because wait till you see the last one. But this is Mystico in this color here with those little flecks. Yeah. I love everything going on in there. Um, color 2518. <laughs> Who knew? So those would be my two choices I for would call that rose gold. Um, oh, see? Of course, there I shouldn't mess it up in case it does have a name on the setting. That's not it. It does have a name, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> I think your basket is very Ingrid themed. And, and mine yours is a mix. Definitely, yeah, I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of Sarah in there, that's for sure. Um okay, so that wraps up Simon? Yes. Okay. Um so our last one. Ingrid is modeling currently. This is Stella Alpina. Alpina, excuse me. This is sport to light DK, 22 stitches to the inch, but I mean to four inches, five and a half stitches to the inch. 
and we have a whole huge list of options. So I'll let Ingrid start by talking about what she actually made it in. Right. I made this in Barocco Gaia because I wanted a um, warm weather, warm body temperature, multiple season uh, yarn. So um, this is a cotton polyester blend. Um, I don't know that it's straight half and half. I think it's 70-30 maybe, but um, Gaia. And it's great to work with, super easy. I think all of the yarns do have um, a little marly yeah, kind of thing to them. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like that too. And I like this because I wanted something you know basic in color that I could wear with anything. And it's truly that. I just finished it last week. This is actually the first time I get to wear it. You're Yay! seeing the debut. <laughs> um, and with this, so this is also top down. So all the patterns we've shown you are knit top down. So they're all going to be ones you can try on as you go. You can knit sleeves to your length. You can knit body to your length. You can increase where you need to if it's bust or stomach or hips or whatever you need or your arms. Um, they're going to give you that option. They're going to give you the what do you, flexibility mm -hmm. to make it really be what you want to be. This is another one that she has designed. If you look at the designer's page and pattern, it is designed to be more cropped and also possibly something you wear over a dress or a skirt or with you know, overalls or pants or, or whatever you like, but I wanted a regular length tee. So I actually knit mine, mine is 13 inches um, to the waist or to the bottom here. And I did not change needle sizes at my hem here. So I'm on a size six needle and I was size six all the way down. And I just did, it's like not even a full inch of ribbing at the bottom because I just wanted it to um, hang. And if you want to see details of any of my patterns, again, if you go to Saturday Shop Girl is my Ravelry name, you can find the, the knits I've shown you, the instant gratification, the salmon, and this are all on there. And in notes, if I made any um, adaptations, which I don't believe I did on instant gratification, but I did on both salmon and this one, um, I do hip increases, I do lower stomach increases on almost anything I knit that's not meant to be cropped. So um, all those modifications or things I did are written in my notes section so that if that's something that you need or you look at mine and you're like, ooh, I don't want it like that, it might not be <laughs> how you make it anyway. Including the answer to your question, Heidi. She asked how many balls we use, but I don't know which sweater it was referring to. So oh. if you go to Ingrid's Ravelry Saturday Shop Girl, you can go and see how many skeins she used, whichever one you were talking about. Yes. <laughs> this one, I believe I used um, six. I think I purchased seven, but I actually purchased this yarn for a skirt that I ended up frogging to make this top. <laughs> but um, I didn't use quite the six ball. These are 50 gram balls of like a hundred and some um, yards. yards stitches. So if you are depending on um, the size ball you're buying or what yarn you're buying. Instant uh, gratification, she used just a little bit into the third ball of Phoenix. Yeah. So, and I believe it's either the size three or the size four that I made there. And the next one I make that I said is going to be in hot pink, I'm probably going to make one size smaller. It's only a two inch difference. So it's um, still going to be oversized and lovely on me. Uh, and I only bought two balls of Phoenix because it won't, it won't take me more than that. So um, they look pretty amazing. Uh, Some and I knit long enough ago that I would even have to look at my Ravelry page. I don't remember mm -hmm. how many balls of Dolce I might have used. All right. Should we talk about yarns for Stella Vina? Yes. Okay. You go first. Okay, yeah. So, oof, I'm gonna snag that. Um, I am currently kind of fixated on Haiku Twist. Yes. So this, oh, I wish you could reach through and feel it. It is so, so yummy. This is a 70% Pima cotton, 20% bamboo, and 10% hemp yarn from Haiku. And it comes in beautiful colors, but I am, this color, this is what's, this is not a Sarah color. This is like, oh, pasty white girl color. <laughs> but it just, I, I love this. So twist would be a really great one. And you, if you really wanted to get all of the detail of the yoke going on, it's got a nice sheen to it. So you would have great stitch definition. Yes. Um, and then two yarns we just got in last week that um, one of them is not entirely new, but it's back new to us because the color range has been expanded. And this is Alpaca Heather from Monastic Uruguay. And this color is called Petal. Yeah, Petal, Petal Pink. You can see it's kind of a gray pink. It's got that kettle dyed um, signature style of Manos to Uruguay. And this is a half alpaca, I mean not half, 70 wool, 30 alpaca. So this is my preferred blend of um, alpaca and wool because I don't love a ton of alpaca. I like the softness it provides, but I don't want it to be more than 50% because I don't want it to be too drapey. And I just think it would be 
so beautiful as a winter sweater in that yarn. Yes. And then this is Sammy. So we just received, I talked about last week from Manos to Uruguay, their new yarns, Marla and Sammy. So this is the solid, the semi-solid, and Marla is the marled. And this color is Lotus, and again, I just liked it. Yes. <laughs> Which is funny because both this and Petal would be exactly what I would come and buy. <laughs> And as a wool option, this would also have really good stitch definition yes, for showing off exactly. the yoke design. Yes. Which I was telling Sarah earlier today that um, I love this. I wouldn't change how I knit this or what I knit this one in, but if I knit it again, I would choose a solid color and probably a, a light color or a bright color so that you can really see because you do lose some of the detail that's going on um, here in the yoke. And it's all in the yoke, so once you divide for the sleeves, it's stuck in that, and then nice, you know, like, you just get to finish that sweater. But um, it's really beautiful, lovely detail in here. It's the kind of detail where when you're knitting it, it's not overly complicated, but it's enough where you're like, oh, but I want to, oh, but I got to knit another round. Oh, but I got to knit another round. Oh, but you I got to see. Going. So it, you plow through the yoke pretty quick. Um, also, I forgot to mention, we went through these um, four designs in order of kind of like the easiest to the more advanced. So... We're finishing here with Stella Alpina, which just has a little more going on in the yoke, and that's why it is on the more advanced end of the spectrum. Yes. Okay, so Ingrid's okay. yarns. What'd you choose? So the designer herself, she used two, I think either lace or fingering weight yarn held together, the same color held together. And um, so if people want to go along that theme, and she has an all wool yarn, I believe that um, she did. So if you were going along that line, just for something neutral and beautiful that, again, would completely show off everything happening in the yoke, um, this is wool stock light, which I mean, it's for being all wool. It is so soft and so wear you next to your skin. Three wool stocks in your basket. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I like wool stock. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so this would be lovely. Or if um, you're somebody who likes to have silk mohair with things, mm. then um, you could also easily put this with um, a silk mohair and I think mm -hmm. you'd still come out probably about right for gauge. I think it's 22, mm -hmm. is that right? 22 mm -hmm. stitches mm -hmm. um, in four inches. So uh, you could probably achieve that if you had a nice little lofty silk mohair yeah. or if you wanted to um, just fingering weight. So if you're kind of going along how the designer went about it, I think these would be beautiful options. And again, there's so many more colors of wool stock but I tried to pick something neutral and different than everything else in my basket. <laughs> if you want just straight up luxury and you want something that is good mm. for a um, colder temperature or a colder body, then I think you should go all in with Sinfully Soft, right? Tammy Vaughn is local to the gorge. Oh, she tie-dyed the shirt. Oh my goodness. Yeah, how perfect. <laughs> We didn't even plan it. No, we didn't. Um, and she raises her beautiful giant Angora bunnies, and then we have lovely learn yarn as a product. So this is 50% um, Angora rabbit, 30% merino wool, and 20% silk. So, I mean, if this it's just doesn't just, say dream and luxury, and I don't know what it's does. It's just like butter, and as you knit with it, it develops this halo from the Angora. So it's just gorgeous. And it's a pleasure from start to finish. This is a DK weight, so this wouldn't need to be held with anything else if you just used this yarn. Um, we have her yarn in multiple weights, but this is the DK weight that I'm holding up for you right now. And um, Petrichor, is that how you say mm -hmm. that? Petrichor is this particular color, but it's all neutral tones, but there are also multiple colors um, of this yarn if you're going for mm. luxury. Mm -hmm. And then I guess I didn't pick a plant base, maybe because I'm wearing the plant base. Yes, probably. So, um, if again, and I went for Sammy too, I think it might be our only overlap. It is! But um, this is called Powder, I believe, this color. Mm. And I don't do a lot in blues, but if I did do blues, this would probably be it. It's kind of a little bit of a lavender overtone or undertone, yeah. if you will. Kind of and again, angle. this is, yes, and this is in um, the solid. So if you wanted marled look, if you're okay losing some of the yoke detail, you could certainly do this yarn in the, in the marled. marled, which, oh my goodness, I, I picked out at least four that I want, maybe five mm -hmm. that I need, mm -hmm. I need to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? It would be so good for shifty. Oh, All it the shifty things so good. we did, the, so especially the marled ones. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Our last <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yes. So this would be also a pick for Stella Apina if you want a beautiful color, stitch definition and color that's gonna show your uh, lace detail and you wouldn't have to hold anything else with it. So if you're a single strand kind of knitter, um, I do think this would just be mm -hmm. gorgeous. So do you wanna hear about the surprise? Yes, yes, yes! Okay, so because it's my birthday Ooh. and because I can, because I'm the boss lady, <laughs> I have created a coupon code for today and tomorrow only. So that is today the 12th and tomorrow the 13th through the end of the day, Pacific time. So if you use the code SBDAY, S-B-D-A-Y, you can buy one, get one 47% off. No way. Why 47? Why? Why? Uh, you can buy one, get one 47% off, no limit. So that is today and tomorrow only. And have fun. Get whatever you have your eye on. The only thing that that does not work on is any consignment item. So that means um, <laughs> the Cardi Bell bags, of which we only have a couple right now, and some of the lavender sheep. <clears throat> it also includes the Sinfully Soft. Those are all consignment items. That means that the makers get the majority of the sale of that item. So um, everything else is fair game. Buy one, BOGO 47% off. Buy it all. The code is <laughs> S-B-D-A-Y. S-B-Day. So you, I can, mean, you right. can interpret that as Sarah Beth's day or Sarah's B-Day, Sarah's birthday, however you want. You can even wear a tiara of your own <gasps> while shopping. I think you should have to wear a tiara. And then I think you should take a selfie and, and post, post it. it. Yes. We're oh ready. my gosh. That would be so fantastic. We're we would brilliant. love to see you all in tiaras ordering your SB Day yarn uh -huh. and then sharing it with the world. Pretty much if there's a tiara in your house, you need to go find it and put it on yeah. and post a picture. And if you don't already have one, you might need to go get one. You might. I did have a smaller one that just has a little comb and sticks right in the top, but I decided that wasn't what we needed today. We needed the full-sized regular. I might have a Sarah size. House. Tiara. I figured. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> Everyone does need a tiara, Sharon. <laughs> That's true. It just is. <laughs> um, is there something else we should talk about? I've posted the link several times to the blog post, so make sure you go check out all, all the information and sign up at the bottom so that you get the emails. So you still have, what is it, like three weeks now, a little over three weeks to plan, to um, think about what you want, to decide if you're going to maybe knit more than one thing because, well, that's my plan. Because <laughs> one of them is instant gratification, so it'll be done lickety-split. Right. Mm -hmm. And our four meetups actually happen over five weeks, and we have two Fridays and two Sundays. I'm trying to hit, you know, some people work, some people don't. Your shift might be different, what um, type of day works, and getting that we might be over many time codes or time yes, zones. Time zones yes. So um, they aren't all at the same on the same time at the same day trying to do it, but they are recorded. So regardless of whether you're live or not, you can still watch the fun, get in on the fun, and I mean, really, with a coupon that insanely good. FYI, you still get your 10% coupon if you sign up. You can't use the two things together, so you'd have to choose one or the other. But the one is only good for today and tomorrow, so. and it's a it's a little bit bigger than the other. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And again, if you if these four designs aren't anything that um, you know floats your boat, and they, they're all garments, so maybe you're not even a garment knitter. Maybe you like accessories. She has baby knits, lots of baby knits. So if there's if you're more of a knitting for babies or toddlers, there's lots to choose from. There's some great scarves yeah. and shawls. Mm -hmm. And if you are straight out of knitting, like maybe you're in my learn to knit class right now and you're just getting your feet wet and you want your next project, congratulations. Ask me tomorrow at class and I can give you some specific suggestions. But she's got great things on there too that um that you'd just be ready to knit right now. So uh, find something you like if one of these four aren't it and join in just because it's so nice to have community, share community and so fun. As the weather changes and we spend more time inside or you're in school or have people in school, it's nice just to get together and be able to see other faces and share knitting with other people. Get, get together with the people who speak your language. Yeah. That's, That's the nice. language of yarn. <laughs> <laughs> AKA love. <right>? AKA love. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and sticking with us through 40 minutes. We went on for 40 minutes. I'm shocked. We have a knack. <laughs> Not us. 
No. Rarely. We, sh we really don't Rarely. talk about that. No. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, when we're together. Yeah. <laughs> if you catch us alone. Not we're not talking to anybody. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much. We'll see you back here next Tuesday. Ciao.